Good morning, children. How are you today? I hope you're well wherever you are. Welcome to Storytime with Teacher Serene. Today, we're going to read a book called Little Red Riding Hood. Are you ready? Let's start. Once upon a time, there was a little girl who lived in a village near the forest. Whenever she went out, the little girl wore a red riding cloak. So everyone in the village called her, correct, the Little Red Riding Hood. One morning, Little Red Riding Hood asked her mother if she could go to visit her grandmother. That's a good idea, her mother said. So they packed a nice basket for Little Red Riding Hood to take to her grandmother. When the basket was ready, the little girl put on her red cloak and kissed her mother goodbye. Remember, go straight to grandmother's house. Do not talk to any strangers. The woods are dangerous. Don't worry, mommy. I'll be careful, promised Red Riding Hood. However, Red Riding Hood forgot about her promise. She stopped in the wood and started smelling all the beautiful flowers and saw all the beautiful butterfly, not knowing there was a dark shadow approaching her from behind. Suddenly, the wolf appeared beside her. What are you doing in the wood, little girl? I'm on my way to see my grandmother who lives through the forest near the brook. Then she realized how late she was and quickly excused herself rushing down the path to her grandmother's house. The wolf, in the meantime, took a shortcut. The wolf, a little out of breath from running, arrived at the grandmother's and not lightly. Who is it? Is that you, Red Riding Hood? Grandma was worried. I thought something had happened to you. Come in, come in. The wolf let himself in. Poor grandmother did not have time to say another word before the wolf gobbles her up. Quickly, the wolf changed into grandmother's pajamas and waited for Red Riding Hood. A few minutes later, Red Riding Hood knocked on the door. The wolf jumped into bed and pulled the covers to cover his nose. Who is it? He called. It's me, it's me, little Red Riding Hood. Oh, how lovely. Do come in, said the wolf. When little Red Riding Hood entered the little cottage, she could scarcely recognize her own grandmother. Grandma, your voice sounds so odd. Is something the matter? Oh, I just have touch of a cold, said the wolf. But Grandma, what big ears you have, said Little Red Riding Hood, as she edged closer to the bed. The better to hear you, my dear, replied the wolf. But Grandma, but Grandma, what big eyes you have, said Little Red Riding Hood. The better to see you, my dear. Grandma, what big tea you have, said Little Red Riding Hood. The better to eat you with, my dear, roared the wolf as he leaped up from the bed and began to chase Little Red Riding Hood. Almost too late, Little Red Riding Hood realized that the person in the bed was not her grandmother, but a hungry wolf. She ran across the room and through the door, shouting, Help! Help! There's a wolf! There's a wolf! The wolfman, the wolfman who was chopping logs nearby, heard her cry and ran towards the cottage as fast as he could. He grabbed the wolf and made him spit out grandmother. Grandmother, who was a bit frazzled by the whole experience, but still in one piece. Oh, grandmother, I am so sorry. I was so scared. I've learned my lesson. I will never ever speak to any stranger again. Grandmother said, Thank goodness you shouted loud enough for the woodman to hear you. The woodman knocked out the wolf and carried him deep into the forest where he wouldn't bother people any longer. Little Red Riding Hood and Grandma had a nice lunch and a long chat. So kids, what do you learn from this story? Do not talk to strangers. Alright, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed the story. See you soon and take care. Goodbye.